and we're back with another tutorial by me, iTech63. Um, and today we are going to be looking at Adobe Fireworks um, and creating a custom YouTube background channel background in Fireworks. You can also do it in Photoshop, but seriously, I'm not very good in Photoshop, so I'm just going to show you it in um, Fireworks. As you can see, this is my custom YouTube background. It's the ex exact size you I wanted it, wanted it to be. You can have it any other any size you want. You can have these lines outside, so it's not inside the video. But I just wanted my video on top of my little logo. As you can see, it's got my logo. It's got the colours. It's got the um, website name. My website down the side. And this is how we're going to do it. So first of all, you need um, this PNG file. This is what the file will look like once you download it with the link in the description. And all you have to do is open it into Fireworks. Once you open it, it its automatic size will be 2000 by 2000. So now, first of all, we get our rectangle tool. Let's make it any size rectangle, any size at all because it's going to be the exact size once we're finished. So down here in the width we type in 2000 by 2000 and the x axis should be 0, y should be 0 also and we're going to have the ellipse gradient and we're going to change, well I am, and change it to anything you want and I'm just going to make my ellipse gradient a bit wider like this hmm that looks oh god what that looks a bit off uh, about there I think yeah it looks like and we're just going to right click on it go to arrange and send to back yeah that looks a bit smart and now you can, I'm just going to add in my custom, um, my custom little um, logo, which is BC Tutorials. I'm just going to shrink it down to size with a scale tool. And, yeah, I'm just going to move it about a bit. I'm just going to copy it now with Control C and paste it. I'm going to put it down here. Um, roughly the same place as this one and now I'm going to flip it and I don't want to flip it like, manually so I'm just going to go right click trans um, modify transform roll, rotate 180 degrees Which, as you notice it's just flipped around I want to add in a bit of text like subscribe Make it make the box a bit bigger. This text box make it bigger, and I'm just going to get the YouTube subscribe color down from down the side. Mm. Like this, is that? Mm, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. And modify, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Because then it's sideways. Copy this. Control. C, control V, bring it over to here, rotate, um, modify, transform, rotate 180 degrees, there it is. Now add in a bit more text, just saying I kept 63, because that's my YouTube channel name, and I'm just going to shrink the size right down now just so it can fit over into here. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see a bit clear, a bit more clear. I mean, you don't want it to fill up this entire box across here because once you load it into, upload it to YouTube, as you can see, you have these, this bit, these two bits here and all of this writing across here. As you can see my one fits in perfectly. You can have it a bit bigger than that depending on the size of your Thingy, um, your name, or you can have it really small across the top of here, but I don't recommend doing that honestly. 
and if you want you can change it to the grid view and as you can see you have a bar enough for a bar across there as if you want to leave this the bar in that bar there which I'm not going to so I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so it fits in a bit better a bit about yeah it looks about the right size and this is my favourite um, text that, um, what's it called um, I don't know what it's, what it's called but this one right here that yeah, is my favourite text style and now I'm just going to zoom back out with view fit all now I want to change this black bit here well, actually, first of all I'm just going to delete the white banner change the background colour with gradient um, I feel like a I'm um, not ellipsing mm -hmm. um, linear linear effect yep that looks, that looks cool change it to red instead of a that colour yeah and that looks cool so then you want to file good file sorry about the slowness it's just because I'm running Camtasia Studio and save as you can save it as a JPEG there but that does take up more um, memory because it's better quality um, I recommend using having it as a GIF because JIF because you can make have a large more detail into your YouTube channel layout and it saves less um, saves less memory so that's it for this tutorial with Adobe Fireworks and that was how to build a custom YouTube layout in Adobe Fireworks remember the link for the template is in the description and I will see you later